Best not to draw attention here. They are about to execute the prisoners. Close. I'll help the others.
Gidrit sent me to find you. Let's go, now. Talk safely over there. We fought with our Weasley Elderman for years. Now his widow wants to lop off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke. You see, brother, your mysterious Fulke has a mind in disarray. Mad or no, I want to speak with her. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich, and tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed.
going. Go. So please. Murder and heathen! No soldiers here now. Gidrits has cleared them all out. She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well done capturing ah. these, lad. It was bloody busy. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Gidrits. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Gidrits. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Gidrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. 
Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could ship away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. Kept lookouts on the coast in raised huts, so the Danes started murdering them under cover of night. No man wanted that job. We need to start defending the mouths of the Danes. If the ones that go nowhere, else the sun goes.
What do you see? Venite odoremus et ada talata merum. See, Sunan.
blocked from the other side. the old fish. Well, his daughter. Woof! <laughs> I didn't want the smell. Her eyes made a man forget such things anyway. Well, anyway. We need to get wise. Fire their ships. A sacred duty. Go, Sulin.
they will attack on sight here. I should not be seen in this area.
no defensive wounds. Seems to indicate an ambush. Brutal. Messy. Bandits were here. Valhalla, Oria. Do we charm her when she's in our care? Do we say what we're after? Or do we dance around the idea? And here's Eivor. Ah, you've timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanes Monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Eatman into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I have already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from nave to crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Eivor, there was a time when you would follow me without question, because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly, never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. Your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. Do we know?
Won't let us lose. Like holy Judas, I thank you, beloved Jesus, for the wisdom to pierce Sophia's plant, to see beyond and above the lies of Yaldabaoth, 
to know the first mystery that is the last mystery that is the 24th mystery. Venite adoremos et adet aleta merum, eritis et fidem, dus et vos interrem et provisa, in tua erit anima domini, mea percusit. dares enter this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Choose, Friar. Stand aside or fight. If we must come to blows, my lord will protect me, and my reward shall be assured. Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. Are you... Sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm. A humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sacklus the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl in robes, hiding tawny skin, and that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. Were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so called heresies? Heresies, Heres yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would indeed. Where you go, I will follow.
Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth, one of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory, about defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. Will you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The language is unknown and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee. Oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god let me hear, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eivor. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you? Preaching such an idea. Yes. Christians like her, like like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Sacklus, the elder path, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Sacklus and his kind were wise in the time, but they lost sight of the true God, the self-begotten one, Lord of the treasury of life. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess.
Brother Paul! Are you here? Ransacked, from floor to roof. Basim, stand guard outside. Ransacked, from floor to roof. Basim, stand guard outside. This is Edwin's doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within? I asked Paul to hide it well. But I do not know where. This moves. It must be there. Is this him, your acolyte Paul? My dearest friend. May you live as one with the true God in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You! Always questioning, second-guessing my wishes! You slowed us down, and I missed my chance! Patience, brother. We'll find this stone wherever it is. Right or wrong, you will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eivor. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade. That stone, for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gatred our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Gidrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not... Avon! <laughs> no! Cut them down! <laughs> Leave none alive! Avon, are you mad? Edwin, please. We had our chance. We will speak of this, Ava. I will not forget. Get in away from me! 
Aver, you mock-minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. Stay out of this! Enough! If it wasn't clear why Sigurd is in command, it is now. Your temper runs too hot, Wolfkist. You want to settle things with Basim, you call a home gang. Else you follow me. You listen to me, you do as I ask. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. You move with the wrath of Odin, but you do not have his wisdom. That will lead you astray, Eivor. Come, friend. We have a battle to prepare for. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind, and he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Gidrit asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eaton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother, you are lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. Show me.
Be careful now.
They're all homes in the back, and the body stripped of all his goods. And bandits are known to roam this place.
podcast about this land, my friend.
Ah! Those invaders never stood a chance. Not when you are armed with Gunnar's handiwork. What have you got for me today? Ah, that one's pretty good. Up to God. You have a keen eye for quality. Like a proud father. Look how strong you are. Is that what you want? My pieces are good, but that one's very good. You are looking powerful. I will see you later, friend. Put that gear to good use out there. You're biting! I would like to see what you have in stock. Perfect! I'll happily take this. Only a fool would pass this up. There is always more where that came from. Use it wisely. Is that everything? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Don't be a stranger!
I need your eyes, my friend. Thank you for this. Whether fur, meat, or bone, we will provide only the finest. And if you intend to go hunting, consider bringing us your kills. We will prepare the hides and heads. Aye. I've been mounting Petra's trophies for years, and she's a discerning woman. In all things. I'll keep that in mind. Enjoy your new home. Eivor, you seem to be someone with a penchant for trophies. I do like victories, but I rarely keep a record of them. Your weapons show the marks of great battles. And you walk with a pride that speaks to your triumphs. Am I wrong? You are not. Why do you ask? To bolster our trade, of course. Wallace is the finest tanner and taxidermist in all of England. If you wish the tales of your hunts to outlast you, there is no better way than making trophies of your kills. If you defeat a rare and worthy creature, bring it to us. We will display it for you. A good idea. Keepsakes to adorn the Longhouse. Thank you, Petra. Oh, and before you go, could you spare a moment for a small favor? Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the howling of a pack of wolves just beyond the border of our woods. Unchecked, they will ravage the wild game in this area. And once the deer are dead, they may turn to us. You feel we should drive them off? I would eliminate them entirely, with your permission, of course. And your help, if possible. A good idea. I will join you now. Good. A pack of wolves is a foolish thing to underestimate. Let's go. This way. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. I'll follow. Uh, hey, Eivor. Eivor. Our settlement Best is in quite a nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Come this way. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood? They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come, this way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf. 
Marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor, not blood. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. So your family found Wallace in the woods? We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe, our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that, the pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. Hmm. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Ah! Help! I think we found our wolves. You there. Get to cover. Eivor, with me. Let's end this. I'm at your side. Yeah, that should be all of them. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, both of you. Are you all right? Were those your sheep? They were. God take them. They were all I had in the world. Poor blighters never stood a chance. I lost my cows some months back. Now the sheep are gone. Frowning Jesus, what sort of farmer am I? I'm sorry for your loss. With the wolves gone, you can recover in peace. Not without the blessings of God, I won't, but I shall try. You have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear any... Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Ava. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon.
Survey the area, Sunan. <laughs> 